Gonzo. And I lost the feed. <laughs> <laughs> we are we are back. This is the couch. I'm DJ Gonzo, and I fucking suck. And, and I'm Rick Rick Rick. Rick. he just gave the whole history of Wicked Wisco. You know why? Because really, he wanted you to tune into the Spreaker episode, show it some love, catch that history, then come back to the video. No, <laughs> we can start wherever you want to start again, motherfucker, son of a bitch. But yeah, hi. How you doing? <laughs> so anyway, I was uh I was a you know a rich kid and I blew all my money on cocaine and hookers. And I was like, hey, I'm gonna get into rap music. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. It's it's the it's the model for uh young That's... rappers today. <laughs> God damn it, Gonzo. Um, you, it's you, a are, you are on some gonzo shit. <laughs> I, I told you, bro. I fucking told you. Hey, but that's okay. That's just my sideways reason of getting you back on for another show or doing something else with us, you know, because fuck it. <laughs> so, should, I, should I start from the beginning? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so actually, you kind of went backwards already because you were talking about you know, um, the start of everything and Wicked Wisco, and you went back to wrestling. So, you're out of jail. And now well, you're going back into hip hop. Well, well, you're starting the recording now. Should I get back to my original? I'll, I'll glaze over the first parts. Yeah, let's get highlights. All right. So, uh, oh three started doing promo for a label, Infinite Illusion Entertainment. Shout out to Foof. Uh, we had a fucking bunch of killers on there. Fucking class was on there. Shy One, Simcom Heights, fucking Castro the Savage, fucking bunch of fucking hitters. Underground shit. If you know what I'm fucking saying, you know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, so I, I start doing promo for them about 03. Um, start doing merch, uh, various other things, helping out the label. Uh, a lot of people start out that way. And, and eventually I'm like, foo, let me fucking start working on some music projects. Fuck these t shirts and flyers and shit. It's like, cool. We're going to start Infinite Illusion Entertainment West. Am I cool? Does that mean I get to handle all the label or the artists on the West Coast? He said, no. You're to the West of Michigan, so you get your own fucking artist. My guy, fuck it, I'm going to find my own artist. He's like, well, I already got this one artist I want to work with, but I'm going to let you work with him. Artist name is Swoop. Badass from fucking Kentucky. Originally from the Bay Area. Still doing shit to this fucking day. He's probably got like 20 underground hitter albums on the fucking face of this earth right now. And people probably don't know. Check him out. Swoop. Money sign. W00P. <laughs> um, well, from there, I, I got my, my feet wet. I knew how to press an album. I knew how all the uh, in and outs work. Uh, how you work with the artists on their shit, whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. Finding my own artist. I'm like trolling the uh, horrorcore.com uh, forums. I'm like, bio killers. They're from Michigan, real close to me. Fucking sign these guys because they were fucking dope as shit at the time. St. Cena Clep, still fucking dope to this day. Right. I'm sure if you heard Mission in Effect, you know who Saint Sin is. Fuck, great guy. Still work with him to this day. He's he just mixed and mastered prolific album. Fucking did stickers with us. Fucking you know do shows with him. Anyway, so sign them. Cool. Um, working on their um. In the meantime, I signed Fury, which had fucking he had a whole bunch of collabs on his um. Uh, Busy Bone, Bizarre. Q Strange, fucking bunch of dope motherfuckers. I'm like, well, might as well sign him. It's, he's already a dope album. He's looking for somebody, somebody to ride with. I'm fucking, let's put him on, put his shit out. So, fast forward a little bit. Those three albums come out. Um, shit's going okay, I guess. Uh, get my feet wet. Uh, Infinite Illusion as a whole. Due to the owner, uh, had his own problems, fucking fell by the wayside. And I was getting a little tired of fucking, I was dealing with artists states away. Right. 
and I'm like 22, 23 at the time. And I'm like, I can't travel out to your fucking CD release party because it's fucking, it's a big hassle. <laughs> fucking far away, damn it. Far. So after, after the label falls, you know, I, it, it, it sucked working with artists far away because I didn't get to give them the, uh, the shine that I wanted to. And here comes some fucking random assholes over here. Yeah, rockets! <laughs> <Fuck you. laughs> you wanna know, you wanna know what rock? Hey, uh, fuck the DRP. Oh, and fuck prolific. Hey, <laughs> hey, I don't have white claws. Hey, 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 I drank hey, the hey, last time. I drink beer with these assholes. Uh, you're a drink beer, fucking real boy. Yeah. Oh, wait, so. Wait. I went through like half the interview. Yeah. And this motherfucker wasn't even recording. Oh! <laughs> like, all right, so I got to start back over. Oh, no. no I was just saying, so my mom and dad were like, like uh, yeah, they banged and then this fucking queer came out. Leave you alone. Uh-oh. Every other, every other fucking oh, first oh, five I- interview I do. <laughs> Every other fourth five interview I do, something fucked up happens. My first one with Prolific and uh, with Jason, oh, I fucking bought up. myself Look, off God the whole it. interview. Yeah. Yeah. They finished it. Donnie's went good. The first interview I did with Scribble, I didn't record it. I'm a professional. And half recorded it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, man. And no white claws. That's fucking great. Yeah. I, yeah, did I, did. I drank them all yesterday. Oh, no. it, was, it was my birthday. Here. We're gonna drink a little bit for a little tiny bottle you on the couch. You should have flexed with the big one. I <laughs> that one's getting saved. <laughs> it's driving me modest. So the glare's so nasty. Can you see the force wow, black? Probably... You, guys, you guys are out in Arizona, right? Yeah. How hot is it out there right now? Not that bad. It was only 87 today. But yesterday it was like a hundred and two. Right, right. <laughs> well, cheers to you guys, Ruckus, to the couch. Break them up, brothers. Oh. Fuck your couch. <laughs> That's later. That's later. That's when we make porn later. Ah, yeah. Keep it up. Keep this guy <laughs> after the video's done. We'll keep recording. We'll see what happens. We'll get more views from I'm, I'm going to have more shots. We'll see what happens with Rick, too. Nobody's going to watch it for me. I'm going to be like, hey. <laughs> Check out this podcast. Yeah. At the end, there's some fucking. <laughs> hey, man, we'll <laughs> you guys, we'll let Rick do his fucking thing. All right, much love, guys. <laughs> Rick, go! <laughs> on, on, you on. knew, you knew they had to come and get you. Beer assistant. Beer assistant. <laughs> I could not for the life of me fucking drink with you guys. Oh. Oh there's, my God. There's, there's, in my younger days, yeah, but I still don't think in my younger days I could have. She got the shiv out. She's like, she does. That's foreplay, bro. It's foreplay. That's how I get my nuts shaved. But blades. Uh, yeah, fucking uh, Zach. You know he lives like, uh, well, you don't know how far he lives away, but it's like two and a half hours away. I came right. down to the studio today, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna come down to the studio too. It was around it was around noon, so I've been been saucing a little heavier today. <laughs> saucing a little heavier today. I'm trying to fix my video because her son called. See that. And when he called, it screwed up the video. Am I back there? <laughs> and what's up, really? Let me see if I'm back. Up, man? I'm back. There we go. What's up, man? Ah, there we go. <laughs> Bring a little sex appeal into this. Right? You're bringing in the youth and shit. <laughs> although, I, although I think I'm going to die before he fucking finishes cabin fever, though. Oh. oh. Don't, uh-huh. don't die in like the next month, all right? <laughs> oh. Too much. I'm not losing my breath. <laughs> well, cabin fever is in the can right now. It's excellent. We, we got some other shit in the pipeline that we got to strategically fucking release these things. We can't. We're not just right. gonna be like, "Hey, album's done. Let's right. put it up." Because we're a bunch of fucking jackasses. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ground. Hey, 
and we get to finish and we get to finish out the night with uh we're dropping uh whiskey drinking tonight oh yeah yeah, that's right. yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. uh that song is the ruckus brothers featuring prolific yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we me and donnie told we're actually stealing that song jagging it it's it's really a prolific song. They beat me down like some older brothers would and Big pound and ground for that fucking Held him song. Held upside down and shook it out of his pockets. <laughs> what? <White ball. laughs> That's fucking great. Hey, I forgot to load up. I forgot to load up. Fuck Rick Dog though. That's one of my favorite songs now. Uh, well, interview's over, so we're just gonna shut this up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that shit's hey, not. That's all right. Um, you I really can put that out there. I get fucking a dollar from every sale that it goes down. So, all right, all right, that, was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker is crazy. Stop. When I had him on, he like, had like shit on fire. Shit, I know you live. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking. Anyway, hold on. So, Zach, you can stick around for this shit. Fuck it. Um. Yeah. So, IIE is. Just but basically dying out. Took a couple months off, uh, got my shit together, and by shit together I meant like you know, drinking and doing drugs and shit for a little while. Didn't have to worry about music. <laughs> Just a little bit. So I'm like, fuck it. I want to work with artists around here because all the artists I was working with are fucking states away, and I already knew Donnie from or DRP from. His band Soar opened up for like Cottonmouth Kings. And the way I saw Cottonmouth Kings, or the way I saw him opening for Cottonmouth Kings, there was a group out in Madison called Nightmares on Milwaukee Street. Yeah. There's my homies from fucking internet shit back in the day. The Lord. They're like, hey, we're going to fucking open up for KMK. Fucking tickets are free. Fuck, come out, homie. I'm like, bet. So I see Donnie open up with Soar, talk to him afterwards. I'm like, you guys dope. Um, your fucking beard's kind of weird. <laughs> your beard's weird. <laughs> At the time, Don had this like real long fucking like <laughs> like this like t this. Wait, wait. That's kind of what is. I'm feeling I personally like right now. It had length but no girth. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I like. I knew like uh insane D from the area. Like we did shows fucking I brought Biokillers out here for a show, ran into him, you know. So like I knew some people in the area. I'm like, I'm gonna start fucking with these guys, but I don't do the label thing. Um Donnie seemed kind of big time at the time. He's still really big. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> see big time at the time he was out in oh, Cal- absolutely. he's out in california he didn't give a fuck who i was back then he was doing was soundtracks and fucking shit for like uh gay anime porn or whatever i don't know <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh and uh d was fucking around with um talking about signing to it i lose you again didn't i no i'm back i'm back hey, hey. hey. uh d was talking about like signing with uh Third Shift Entertainment, which they were kind of big at the time in the underground. So, like, I wasn't doing the label thing. I was like, I just want to get people to fucking gather do some wicked shit in Wisconsin because our uncle, Ed Gein, and fucking our crazy fucking <laughs> cousin, Dahmer. Dahmer is eating. Gerald, Gerald Turner as well. <laughs> it's another, we're loaded. We're loaded with him, man. Oh, we, fucking... we, had, we had the guy fucking killing prostitutes and stuffing them in mattresses. Yeah. Fucking, Something's in the water, something's in the air. I don't know, but fucking the horror core. I don't think I would eat your guys' barbecue. Oh, it's be crazy so. people. It's the best. We usually like <laughs> we usually boil boil it in beer now. <laughs> I think I think that's why prolific takes all those pictures where he's out hunting and shit. In you know those barbecues, but really it's not deer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so anyway, it's all right. Wisconsin has Wisconsin has the fucking wicked shit. We already have it in us. And there's horrorcore acts and underground acts around the area that fucking were fucking putting it down at the time. And there was after I started like really looking for like other groups, like I realized there's the morgue out there and there was Outbreak Monkey out there and there was Lucy 333 out there. There are some fucking little young 
16 year old kid out in the fucking Dells named Prolific that I regret even talking to to this day. <laughs> <laughs> that that nice. I, th there was people out there. I'm like, where the fuck are these cats? How come nobody's fucking listening to them? I mean, they might not have been the greatest at the fucking time, but I saw it in them and I'm like, let's let's fucking get this shit together. Um, let's make a fucking scene here. Absolutely. And that's what we did. Yeah. And, and just like, a straight movement. Like the, the shows we were doing at the time, I had my own CD duplicator and a thermal printer. And I was I was pressing up samplers for every show. If if you were on that show, you were on that sampler. Because if you would have came for um the morgue and you were friends with them out in West Bend and you're coming out to see um prolific might have been on the show or dark half might have been on the show um you're gonna get a song from them too on there and like i was pumping those out and was like, just absolutely just getting like a strong, a strong name that was all over the state it, they just come in to combine into one underground wicked shit compilation man like it just literally whose interview is this uh, it's yours <laughs> but it's, it's, it's how he took it upon though that's exactly no it, what it, was. it was more like i just wanted to, i wanted to there's people out these people had a pocket of fucking friends and fans, and these people had a pocket of friends and fans in the state, and we're all fucking two hours away tops. And if you were to come and see Prolific, you're going to get the CD, the song from the DRP and Dark Half and the Morgue or whoever's on that show. So if you were at that show, you got handed that CD, and you might have saw that act, and you're like, fuck, these guys are dope. I want to hear a song from them. And I have a song from them right here on the CD. And it it, it just grew. Like, uh, in in the first year, I handed out a bunch of those. And at the same time, we were, we were working on a, our first album, well, mixtape, which was Worse Than Hell. And to this, to this day, it's a fucking, it's, it's a classic. I'm, I'm told it's an underground classic. A, yeah, I don't want to float my own fucking we, boat. Yeah. But, like, we worked on that the whole year. And the the title from that comes from a um, uh, Jane Silent Bob movie, uh, Dogma. When uh, uh, Bethany or whatever is talking to uh, the the angel and uh, uh, <laughs> what, what's his name, <laughs> uh, the guy from Harry Potter, whatever. <laughs> Rick something. Rick yeah. something. The voice of God. <laughs> the voice of God. But yeah. Well, she's like, oh, were they banished to hell? And he says, "Worse, Wisconsin." Yeah. <laughs> so that's where the title "Worse, worse than, than hell, hell" came from. All right. We're from Wicked, Wisconsin. It's fucking worse than hell. <laughs> and we sampled that. That was like the intro. We had that first little clip it from Dogma, and then from there, it just fucking like it jumped off. We dropped. We worked on that fucking from all '08 while we we pressed out other samplers, so my little homemade janky joints, and then. Got a pressed in December 08, the year we fucking started, one year ago. Released it in 09, and it fucking jumped off from there. From there, we started working on State to Hate. And if you haven't heard State to Hate, I'm sorry because it's been out of it's been out of press for a long fucking yeah. time, and it's it's one of those albums that like people keep asking for, and I kind of want to be like, I don't want to repress it. Like, if you weren't there for that fucking magic at that moment. It was his hugest time. Like, King Gordy was in his prime during that compilation. The, was on there. The concept of that album was, we're going to take every artist from Wisconsin and make them collab with an artist from another state. Yeah. So we had a whole bunch of fucking states pegged off on the map. Michigan, California, Texas, fucking you name it. Like, we were collaborating with everybody from everybody in the underground like at the time that had yeah. like a, a solid name because like i said when we cracked off like people took notice a little bit some of us doubted us but there was a lot of people that like were like see what the fuck you're doing and it, it might have been them at the time going i want my foothold in wisconsin right right, right no. <laughs> they might have right. gave us a little love off that but like no that fucking album actually you know what fuck it i'm pressing that up this year I'm gonna I was gonna tell you, bro. Put it out right now. Hands out the bag. Couch exclusive. Putting it fucking out this year. It's been out of fucking press for 09. 
Yeah, 09. So I made, I made a note of it to get at you over that. Press hey. that shit up. I want to hear it, dude. Like, look, look. <laughs> Find a bootleg <laughs> of Satan. <Saint Hey. laughs> Sorry, bro. I fucking got all sorts of like, no, I fucking take notes, bro. Because <laughs> I research shit and stuff. You know, I'm a journalist of some sort, a shitty one, but you know. Yeah, fucking. So, Wicked Wisconsin, we go, we put out. Worse than hell, one, two, and three. We do state the hate. We do Gerald Turner syndrome, which yeah, was the Halloween compilation. It, it was a Halloween compilation. Um, for those that don't know, Gerald Turner, um, creepy dude that fucking abducted a child in Wisconsin on Halloween when Finally. she was trick or treating. Mm-hmm. And that was like the main reason, like the whole nation shut down nighttime trick or treating back in the 70s. Yep, very true. And I was like, well, we have this Halloween asshole linked to the state. So we're going to fucking, we're going to capitalize <laughs> off his name. Even though nobody knew who the fuck we were talking right, about. Right, exactly. We right. put up this album called Gerald Turner Syndrome. Yeah. Everybody's like, who? What? <laughs> Some people might have looked at it and be like, oh, okay, okay. So, I mean, we got that album. We got, we put out fucking Underground Jihad, which is actually yep. like, it was an album, but it was like a free handout. Yeah, for, um, that was... uh, Psychopathic did uh, Hatchet Hatchet Attacks. Yes, yep, yeah. Hatchet Attacks in Milwaukee, which was like the um, all the artists on Psychopathic at the time, which when they were fucking cracking. Yeah. Uh, JCW show at the rave, fucking. So like, it was kind of like a one day gathering for us in Milwaukee, and we were like, we're gonna press a fucking thousand of this album, give it out for free. Right. Right. And, out for free download and all shit. Like I think that was the first song or first album we put up for download because yeah, on, on digital shit because that's when it started kind of like kind becoming of a thing, <laughs> right? That's where it started becoming a, a thing. But fuck, um, was that no? for underground jihad a hatch attacks? Uh, oh, we uh we did a 2009 sampler. Yeah, that that one was pretty dope too at the time. So we put a whole bunch of Wicked Wisconsin albums out. Um. I got in tight with fucking the morgue. They had so much fucking talent. They still have talent. Not going to fucking downgrade them now, but they, people go on to do, you know, life, you know, kids, children, whatever the fuck else. And like they dropped out of the scene, but like I put out two of their albums. Um, uh, through this whole time, like I got tight with Mars. Like I knew him from like the forum shit back in the day. And he came out here, he's doing shows with us all the time. Like, that was like, that was the fucking homie from the jump. Like, that was probably like the first horrorcore show that DRP ever booked in Milwaukee. Okay. Way before Wicked Wisconsin was a thing, I showed up to that show super fucking drunk, shocked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I showed and up who, who would have known? And Mario reminds me remembers me from that show because I'm standing in the crowd like this, like just looking at him like <laughs> <laughs> like just fucking smashed off my brain like should I fight this guy? <laughs> should I fight this guy? <laughs> I, I didn't know at the time. I'm glad I did because that he always keeps a fucking poker on him. He's yeah, gonna, he does. He's gonna shiv you real quick. Oh yeah. So I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't jump off at the hand on that one. That fucking... I almost, I almost <laughs> had him on the show. There's shiv- only two people that I haven't got on the show from Force Five, and that's Mars and Danny Diablo. I'm working on the Diablo thing. Um, oh, we'll make that shit work. Technically, Mars did kind of come on my show. He stood behind DRP. And Nate Serial menacingly. <laughs> so technically, he was on my show. So, so Mars was a side bitch on that one. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Side yeah. On that one. I'm prepared to be stabbed now, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Mars is coming around. Mars is fucking us. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no man, he fucked with us. He was real, real, but he was fucking with us yeah. for a, while, a long while. Yeah, like, and that was the he, time when he was real big, like with psychopathic at that time. And like he's he, touring with him and whatnot. He he was he's never really been on a label. Like he's been on um, Mad Insanity, which is his own his thing. own thing. Like, yeah. So at the time, I was like, dude, let's fucking let's work together. Like, you see, like what I'm doing. I put out plenty of albums. I I'm not fucking idiot in this shit. 
And so we ended up working on uh, the Zodiac mixtape. I pressed that one up. Um, fuck. That's about it. That, that's that's the end of that era. So, <laughs> uh, we did plenty of tours. Oh, I, I did a bunch of tours yeah, and shit, but like actually with with well, ours. That that the Wicked Wisconsin era, if you will, blends in with my Force Five era because right. I I don't know the exact year. It's probably like 06. Um Maniacs used the hype for the DRP. I don't know if you heard of Maniacs, know him. I think he sure. sent some um dark half stuff, right? Yeah, 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 absolutely. That was for sure. That was dark half for boy, sure. Like, again, yeah. another person like you know, we we find these people like linked yeah. up with everybody in Wisconsin, and we were fucking anyway. So he was hyping Donnie for like the first few years when the DRP was going solo because he like just left the whole sore band thing and he's doing the rap thing. So Maniacs is hyping him. He ends up becoming a property of the state. <laughs> and uh, it seems I, to happen in Wisco. Oh, that's not that's not on film anymore because you weren't filming the fucking first time. <laughs> <laughs> How I brought up uh, someone else becoming property of the state, but that's here nor there. Right. <laughs> um. So I, I go on tour with Donnie. I I don't know if it's the. Uh, I don't think it was the DRP Mars um, domestic violence tour. I think it was one before that. Yeah, it was definitely before that. But so homegrown tour, maybe Donnie's about to go on the road and he's like, fuck, I don't got no hype, man. I was like, put me in coach. (laughs) Right. And I I wasn't a rapper at the time. Like I'm, I still don't really consider myself a rapper. I, I never, None of this was my intention to become a fucking rap artist. I always wanted to help out other people to promote them and put out albums. And like, I really love like the whole concept of putting merch together and like the whole art aspect of that portion of thing. And like, I never really wanted to become a artist. Like when I was on like the first week of Wisconsin albums, it was just like the first track I did was a gin and juice cover just because I was fucking around. <laughs> it just kind of like snowballed from there. And like every time, like we would start working on some, uh, an album, like insane D would be like, Hey, or Damien Quinn, if you will nowadays. Right. Right. We'd be like, Hey, you know what this album needs? A Rick dog song. I'm like, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> that's, that's an inside yeah. fucking uh, oh, yeah. joke there. The now, now, now. Anyway, so like I, I never really wanted to be a rapper. Like I to this day, 15 years in this fucking scene, I've never tried to put an album together myself. I say that too. Absolutely. I could, I've had plenty of opportunities and resources and connects where I could fucking have fucking probably the super dope fucking collabs like you could imagine. And like it was never like my intention of being a rapper. So like I, I jump on tour with Donnie because, like, I told him right away. I was like, I'm just going to fucking hype you up, dog. Like, I'm I'm just going to roll with you. Like, it's I'm not going to try to take your shine and want to do my song in between your set. Or I, I had a good job, so I was never like, yeah, pay me to be on tour with you. Make sure I get 25, 50 bucks a day. I'm like. Was literally the guy to just be there that wanted to push everybody. I, I just wanted to do. To just, just to help push that. This like, is my fucking interview, yeah. all right? No. Yeah, like, <laughs> fucking roll, man. For sure. But no, I, I was like, I, I don't want my shine. There's no shine for me. I just, I want to be, I don't want to fuck your setup, so <laughs> let me know if I'm fucking up. But I, I was never like, I don't want to be a rapper. I still don't to this day. Yet, right. I, yet I show up in the studio today and help this guy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's get, he's get some fucking credits. <laughs> so I, I I linked up with Donnie in uh, the whole midway through fucking Wicked Wisconsin. Start hyping him. Start working with him more on the whole Force Five point of shit. Um, at first he had some other guys like um, being uh, working on projects, or whatever. And I was I was actually dubbed the uh, project manager at one time. You know, I kind of 
took a little hurt to that because some other side motherfuckers are stepping in like, hey, let's do business with you. We're going to fucking help you out. No disrespect to them now. I'm not going to say their name and try to shit on them. There's, again, no disrespect, but like they're not here now. I was I was here before them. I'm still fucking here now. And I'm like, I just kept pushing fucking four side with Donnie. Donnie went through his whole um, side issue problem thing. Not want to get into that. I'm sure everybody knows. He has a song called right. fucking Hero Win. I'm sure. Yeah, and- I thought it was his whole Nickelback uh, fan obsession that he wanted that he was uh, doing the whole Grateful Dead thing, following yeah. him. You got any smokes? I'm you? sorry, what was that? I said I thought you know his time away was him following around Nickelback and stuff like the Deadheads <laughs> did. He probably Dead. was. He, you know, honestly, he doesn't talk about those times, and he came back from those times really hating Nickelback. So I'm, <laughs> you you got a fucking point there, Mike. I, I think so. See, I, I try and analyze these things. I get it. We start putting like yarn, like connecting fucking shit, like Charlie on the sun. <laughs> Always sunny. Don't even get me started. I'll dedicate half my wall in the office just for a big ass one of those with the connections and shit. <laughs> don't don't have me emailing him as uh, fucking uh, the lead singer in Nickelback anymore. <laughs> he was so mad. So anyway, was, I'm linking up with I'm linking up with Donnie. Obviously, I'm I'm doing fucking you know <clears throat> I'm touring with them. Um, the king of ruckus rap comes along. I I'm still not trying to be a rapper, so I was never like, hey, let me get on a song. The the only thing I was like, hey, let me fuck around and do an intro. So if you listen to King of Ruckus Rap, there's like this little skit in the beginning where like it sounds like a bunch of different people like talking back and forth about how they do not like the DRP. <laughs> or like the DRP, depending on the angle. And right. a couple of those voices were me. But other than that, like I was I was like, I don't want to be on album. But again, I'm I'm not trying to be a fucking rapper. And um from there, you know, it just it kept snowballing into shit where like I started working on putting together um Ruckus and Illin, which it was supposed to be originally one album, one CD. <clears throat> I was like, hey, you got these rap bass songs and you got these rock bass songs. You should make a double EP where it's Ruckus and Illin and fucking okay. do this whole concept of like, um, if you've ever seen the artwork, it's um, it's a playing card and it's two different yeah. sides to it where it's a Ruckus and Illin. Yeah. Um, so that was, a lot of that shit was fucking my brainchild at the time and that's when donnie was coming back from his thing so he's kind of like he actually gave me the fucking kind of reins on the art and like said you know let's do that fine whatever and that kind of just you know force five started picking up after that you know we started linking back up with um raven de la vega and mutilator which they were on the label prior to uh things going haywire yeah so, like, no, showing them love, put them back on, fucking let's do this. Um, we uh, we started putting on Saint Dog and, you know, uh, the whole Force Five. Shout out to Saint Dog. Glad I you got your Force Five one. Yeah, glad, glad you out the clinker, homie. <laughs> I, right. We printed that shirt at my work. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I got a ton of Force Five shit. They're at the coaster and fucking. Uh, yeah. it's, I, I support bro last three three and a half years no last three years three and a half years yeah so i don't know you get sidetracked so we're we're into the force five days they yeah, kind of yeah, pick up from here. Dog. Every, everything's pretty much fucking uh accessible from this point on like all the early shit like people don't know like i have uh executive producer credits on 15 albums and counting like it's I'm, I'm kind of like a the guy behind the guy unspoken fucking person where like everybody knows like dark half and drp and all these people but like there was a guy behind them that kind of like helped push it forward and it's kind of cool that i get to fucking come on here and talk to you and be like you know i've been around since 
old school horrorcore.com message board record label days where Napster was a thing. And, you know, there was no Spotify. Hey, get him a beer, woman. No beer. I'm going to do coke. Okay. <laughs> I, I, saw, I saw this motion. <laughs> yeah, I was, like, yeah well, I was just quick. I, I need a drink, you know. I do know it's badass that you came on and I get to hear this story and stuff because in, in my few years of doing this and working with people, that's kind of, I've never exactly produced none of that shit, you know what I mean? But I've always been just behind it, pushing stuff, doing shit for the love and shit. I think that's why me and Donnie connected it. But same thing too, because I worked with Haas and his US Circle A Records, and he let me start an affiliates where we got to boss. Uh, that's my boy. That's my brother, man. Long story short, I love, I love the dude. Um, he's he's got some he's got some fire for the uh, the ruckus mixtape volume two coming out very soon. Nice. That shit's like me, half. That shit's half in the can right now. He let me do three songs. He ain't released from uh, the Danny Diablo one. He's doing and a, a solo album and another album. I don't remember. Sometimes I fuck up and play them though. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gave it to me, damn it. I'm gonna play it shit. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that you came on that because like I, I can definitely relate. That's what I'm trying to say is I can relate to all that because like if police will thank me, I'm like, don't fucking thank me. Don't even mention me in your post. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? Was, Send the love to the homies, you know what I mean? That's just, I'm just here making shit work out. That's all I'm trying to do. That, that was the thing for me for a while. Like, he's a pug shit. <laughs> half pug, half shit suit. Pug shit. Get that pug shit out of here. <laughs> yeah, he tries to break my arm. Yeah, he's only like a few pounds. And there's Mickey Mouse. He's only like a few pounds versus my hundred fucking thirty do pound dogs out back, <laughs> but he runs like he's one hundred and fifty pounds though. <laughs> little funny yeah. bastard. Hey, you you want to hear a cool little story from today? Yes, let's hear this. Yes. Before I came to Donnie's here, oh, actually, I had a really eventful day. I went to the studio, fucking cut some shit, but uh, I also had a raccoon in my garage that I had to scare out. And yeah. by, scare out, by scare out, I mean we had firecrackers and smoke bombs, and I played Rick Ross's Port of Miami very loud, and, like, nothing <laughs> was getting this motherfucker out. And, like, it took a while, and, like, I, I was late coming here to set up with Donnie's shit, and I was like, he's like, oh, God, why are you so late all the fucking time? We, we're in Milwaukee, but, like, Cudahy is, like, 10 minutes outside of downtown, which is like yeah. major city-ish, I guess. With probably, I don't know, fucking top five. Whatever. Right. Everybody else where Milwaukee is. Anyway, so we're, we're just south of there. Our wildlife, prom, wildlife prom is fucking retarded. <laughs> you got raccoons coming through the neighborhood, fucking foxes, deer. I've, I've, I've been sitting on the porch fucking a fucking blunt and a muskrat would come by. I didn't even know what the fucking muskrat was at the time. I had to look what up. <laughs> fucking it was super weird. Look like a ball. Like this super long, like leather fucking looking tail. Like I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm fucking shoot it, but I'm, the cops come to my house. <laughs> right. Right. See, out here we deal with uh, what are those damn pigs called, babe? Uh, Havelinas. Yeah. Oh, shit. Those are fucking... fucking... They will, they will fuck you. Yep. Up. You, you don't even... In, we got, uh, like, wild, like, boars or whatever here. Yeah, yeah. You don't even need a tag to shoot them. DNR just says fucking hab at them. Yeah. yeah. Just, Good, like, why uh, you if you see that dog in my yard... <laughs> <laughs> I got a buddy that makes friends with raccoons. He actually has a couple friends, and they eat out of his mouth. Get the hell off me! <laughs> what the hell are you for? I I actually I like raccoons, and my wife like super loves raccoons. Like she was out there like oh taking pictures, posting on Facebook. Rick got me an early birthday gift. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> You're like, no, babe, I can throw a firecracker at it. <laughs> it, it, it was a, it was a younger one. Like it was, it was cute. Like raccoons are cool and all, but those motherfuckers are no, they, no, they'll claw your eyeball out in a second. Like right that, in there, that's more. Get that dog out of there. <laughs> Better stop your shit. <laughs> Little motherfucker, you little Chewbacca looking ass motherfucker. Sometimes I get really stoned and I just sit around making up reasons and insults to him. I just sit there and insult him all day. <laughs> I'm like, you're a product of fucking animal rape and your stupid shit. He just, he loves me. I don't know why. I don't even like small dogs, but he loves me. But, anyways, <laughs> fucking raccoon. Yeah, oh, that, man. that was my, uh, the, the studio wasn't exciting. The raccoon in my garage was exciting today. <laughs> that, was the, that was the highlight today. <laughs> but this 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 is this is exciting. This is my highlight today. Fuck that raccoon. He didn't even like Rick Ross's part of Miami. <laughs> I'm pushing <laughs> it. I'm pushing it. <laughs> he yeah. might have liked hip hop. That's why I didn't leave. <laughs> As I'm saying, we're we're we had pyrotechnics and smoke machine and music blaring. That motherfucker was partying back there in my garage. Did a whole fucking set, and he's back there <laughs> drinking fucking white claws and shit. You know, Donnie, <laughs> stealing whiskey out of my fucking freezer. Right? Did I ever send you my white claw regret uh, PSA? Is it is it called? I'm sorry, I've ever met Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No, 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 dude. I did a whole like video sitting there talking about white claw regret and shit and fucking waking up in the hotel with your homie, fucking your butthole hurting and shit like that. And it was like fucking get that dick away from me. I'm pouring white claws out. I actually just drank some. And I was this, like, this fucking This interview is taking a left turn. <laughs> it, yeah, we went, dude. I think we're all the way back around, I think, or we just hit the ghetto. I don't know. <laughs> we're back to the start. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, shit. Bottom, so we can kick them, you know. <laughs> I never know what these interviews are going to be like, to be honest. Uh, like, they go, uh, like, really got 15 year history in like 10 minutes. So, where do we go uh, from here? What is up here? So, we got Ruckus Mixtape Volume 2 coming out. We got uh, Devils and Demons with Danny Diablo and Mars coming out real soon. That's the next one. Um, Mars B sides is coming out real soon. Uh, uh -huh. Prolifics Cabin Fever is actually 100% coming out this year. Forget those flyers you've seen that said 2017. That's a lie. It's actually coming out this year. <laughs> Holy fuck. Okay, yeah, it has been a bit because I heard him. He had a, a song <clears throat> that that was with uh, Dark Half and shit, and I was like, bro, is that you? He's like, that's me. That's actually my song. And I was like, oh, and Cabin Fever ain't came out yet. Okay, it makes sense now. <laughs> uh, uh, Damien Quinn is on this banger on Cabin Fever called um, uh, Meat Sweats with um, yeah. Saw the Ghost from fucking the Cult Ship Boys, you know. That that song, probably one of my favorite on there. A lot of people have heard like the, um, the King of all those fucking those, uh, choppers on there, but this song, I, I really feel, is way better. Shout out to fucking Damien Quinn and Saw the Ghost. Fucking Meat Sweats. Is, it, as soon as I heard the final on that, like, I posted on Facebook. And, like, I usually don't do that when I hear, like, a final of a song. Like, ooh, this motherfucker's hitting. Right? Right? <laughs> like, it, like it, as I get older, I kind of grow away from, like, the horrorcore stuff. And I still love it. I, I love my roots and all that shit. But, like. There's times you hear like a horrorcore song, so I'm like, "Fuck yeah, bring me back to my youth." And like that—that that was one of those songs that's like, it's got that OG feel to it, and it's fucking. It, you'll hear it very soon. You'll hear Good. it very soon. <laughs> I will definitely let you know my opinion. But fucking, uh, what what else got? Uh, Jason Logic's probably hitting out this year, like November. But like, yeah, we got like four albums right now in the works, in the pipeline that are coming very, very soon. Like, the other day, I, people don't realize it, but, like, you got to sit down and, like, plan out shit. Like, um, 
when do we start the pre-orders and when do we start the production of the album like physically album and you know when do we start printing the stuff for the pre-orders and then you have to factor in there's an album coming out right the fuck after that and we have to start production on that album and all the pre-order stuff for Zach's album and you know it's like I, I might be the, the VP while Johnny fucking is excelling to greater things with sub noise and fucking SRH and like but like there's a lot of shit that goes into the, the background of music that people don't really realize and like right now with this whole quarantine fucking thing um, it, digitally everybody's pumping shit out there right now so right. Like, if you want to put out something digitally now, you have to release it. You have to submit it now, and it's probably going to be like a fucking month before it comes out because every fucking asshole dick and hair he is putting something out. Yeah, I heard that a lot of people were complaining about it. They've been waiting for a month already. So we got to factor that shit into releases where, yeah, we're going to start pre-sales now, but we got to submit the shit digitally because this day and age, a lot of people are like, Fuck it, we're gonna listen to listen to it on Spotify before I buy it. You know, it's right. just the the age we're in. Right, and because I'm just podcasting shit and I don't get like money out of it or anything. Like my shit goes from Spreaker, it's gonna be on Spotify in the next eight hours. It'll be on Podcast Addict in eight hours, and then as soon as I can get it to upload on YouTube, we'll get it up there. Oh, only mine goes on iHeart right? uh, mine goes on iHeart Field. <laughs> Tell her to speak when spoken to. Speak when. Oh, you want me to get stabbed, huh? You are you ready for the end of the show? Sex life. We're gonna do it to whiskey drinking. <laughs> yeah. Oh. To anybody to anybody that's listening, which is probably like two people, like my mom and uh, Zach's mom. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, and, got, and my co-host who's listening because he had a honey do list. We are debuting. A song off of Cabin Fever, Fever, <laughs> Cabin Fever, whiskey drinking, featuring DRP and the Beard Bastard himself, Big Dog. Yes, sir. What else we got to cover? You got anything else you want to throw on here? Oh uh, shit! Um, I don't know. What do you What do you do on these things? You know, do you, you ask me like. Is your period heavy this month or not? Or we can run through some of those, but see, fuckers, <laughs> yeah, I need more better. Oh, there's a message in the in the chat that says cabin fever exists. It does. It does, Gringo. I will tell you right now. I I've been one to joke about it for years too, saying when's cabin fever? It is a hundred percent done right now. It is coming out this year. In fact. If, if you want to know a date, I'll give you a date right now. Oh, shit. I'm going to write this down. I have too many notes on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you it's coming in August. <laughs> well, Living Dead Girl says, uh, fuck you, fuck her dog, she's not sharing her shit, because she wants to talk, and you said she can't. Huh? Ooh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I said, fuck you, I ain't sharing none of your shit no more, because I can only talk if I'm spoken to. That's right, lady, you should be in the kitchen, all right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get right on that one. <laughs> Cat <Captain> Fever... <laughs> August 14th. And you should be in the kitchen until it comes out. <laughs> well, I will be that first month because it's my the first of the month because it's my son's birthday. So I'll be in the kitchen a lot. <laughs> Absolutely. We're going to come up there and kick it with you guys in Wisconsin. And um, hell yeah. She I might stab you. Packers she... game. That's the only way I'm going to Wisconsin Fuck if the, I get to go to a Packers game. Will you go to the Packers game? game, I'm going to go get in trouble. I'm you better bring a lot of money because that's a high fucking ticket thing up here. Yeah, I imagine. Like, I'm a huge Packer fan, and, like, me trying to find Sorry. tickets, it's like, please, someone sell me something at reasonable cost. <laughs> so, I could have got Packers and Detroit Lion tickets for, like, 150 bucks in Detroit. Yeah. 
Did it come out of? Did it? Did it come out of ball for the best? <laughs> hey, hey, um, we got Gringo Suave. He's hinting at something here. He says we need Force Five at Gore Fest 15. At what? At Gore Fest 15, the next Gore Fest. Dude, I would fuck. I would love to go to Gore Fest. Uh, scum, hit us up, fucking. We've been down for years, and like, I don't know why we never got invited. Honestly. Uh, right. Not... It needs to happen because then that happen. here you're halfway here, and we can get there. We can get to Colorado because I've been to Gorefest before. With make, uh, that, with a, make that a hashtag or something. Fucking Force Five at Gorefest 2020. Dude, I'm yeah. No, fuck yeah, dude. We're gonna on a mission. And uh, Scribble says, "Shout out Rick Dogs, Bros a Beast." What that asshole say? <laughs> he said, shout out Rick Dog, bro's a beast. I think it's supposed to be bro. It says pro, but you know. He can't spell. And Scribble says, my butthole is wide open. You shut up, you bitch. I'm coming to LA and slapping you. <laughs> that must be an inside thing between y'all. <laughs> what was the joke we were told earlier? What is star shape, but. Also oh, turns. What, what starts out star brown and uh, starts out star shaped and brown, but turns into a purple circle. Your butthole. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Pro equals prolific. You dumb fuck. Fuck you, Scribble. You should have came on and coached me. <laughs> you fucking cuck. I fucking love Scribble. Scribble is my first fan. Like him and my fucking. Uh, uh, co host, uh, Gringo Suave, like my first legit fucking fans, and now I can't get rid of one of them. It sounds like you got terrible fans. <laughs> yeah, two real fans. No, actually, said terrible, no, not terrible. Too, fans. Terrible. <laughs> too real, <laughs> terrible. No, I actually, picked up, I'm surprised I picked up fans recently, and <laughs> yeah, no, What's they're right. I love them. <laughs> oh my god, dude, now Gringo's joining in with Scribble, and he says it's the couch with DJ Gape, so. Yeah, leave my gaping butthole alone, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you weren't supposed I, I, to tell them about that. I uh, hate, they know things. Poor I've Rick. Heard these, I've heard these interviews go very homosexual over time <laughs> with you and Scribble. Time. Yeah, he says, I'm not a real fan. I'm just here, here to hear Scribble disgust. <laughs> yeah, fucking cuck. Uh, hey, but you know what? It was put in context when I had... Uh, Jason Logic on. He was like, "Fuck if you that guy." Next he's question. He's like, "You can't take this motherfucker. If you can't take the shit and shit, then you're probably not as close as you are because we talk shit all the fucking time." And I got scribble <laughs> calling me a bitch, which I usually punch people for. And then Christina's like, "Oh fuck, you want to hit him?" I'm like, "Nah, that's my boy. Fuck that cuck." <laughs> Logic, Logic, try to tell me to uh, give him a shout out or, or anything. I said. Anytime you're brought up, I'm going to go, fuck him. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't talking about beep logic here. <laughs> hey, uh, Why are you guys so mean to people? Hey, he has a fucking cool hat, so. Who, me or Jason? Lo or beep logic. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you and beep logic, though. <laughs> I know. I'm still waiting for him to rock a kangaroo or something, a kango or whatever it was a called. A kangaroo? Yeah, the fuck. <laughs> if that motherfucker's gonna rock a kangaroo, dude, he better get that shit on video. Dude, I'd love to. Uh, if I could rock a kangaroo right now, I would. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Fucking shut up, Scribble, goddammit. My anus does not have its own gravity pull. <laughs> Why am I attracted to it then? Yeah, well, you know. I told you that in cute, confidence. It's a cute asshole, you know what I mean? Like, I told him that in confidence. He wasn't supposed to tell you. Right. I get friends that get down sometimes, so I send random nudes to myself. They appreciate it. What the fuck? Anyway, I, let's get off the butthole talk. What else we got here? What else, to do, what else are you doing these fucking podcasts? You, we sit you, here and talk. Yes. We sit and talk and we just mad fucking shit half time once we get the business and shit out there. But I do love that fucking gore fest idea. We do need to make that happen Dude, for, uh, everybody all all three people listen to this right now hashtag force five at gore fest <laughs> yeah because i don't count because i wasn't talked to <laughs> hey! tell her to be quiet back there 
<laughs> Hell no, she's the only one legally able to touch my pee pee, so I'm not going to tell her shit. <laughs> legally able to? Yeah, well, first they, first they want to vote, now they want to talk. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, this oh. Jesus Christ. Well, he fucked up the first half, and we have to start over now. Yeah. Right we haven't even got to your nickel band. Oh, oh, dude, Johnny, we connected the dot, the dot, the dots of why you, why you actually left, appeared on heroin and came back hitting Nickelback. So we're thinking like you were on tour and kind of got banged out by Chad. Or <laughs> <laughs> Charlie on Sons of Anarchy. Take your shot glass. Yeah, or Charlie on Always Sunny. Connected fucking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So All I know is I'm charging by the hour for this Skype interview. So one of you guys owes me for my internet connection for the last fucking hour at my house. Uh, well, bill it to uh, DJ Gonzo. DJ Gonzo. <laughs> You'll get a, a Four Spot Burgers LLC and charge it to Rick then. Charge it to the game. Charge it to the game. <laughs> I'm charging fucking Scribble for this shit because he's on my fucking chat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have one more shot, and then I'm gonna probably beat my old lady upstairs. So, <laughs> oh, oh boy, yeah. I better stick around on here. <laughs> <laughs> then you get to watch. Then you get to watch the porn we're making afterwards. To oh uh, yeah, that's right. You make the porn. I'm gonna beat my old lady. Well, you do that. Real quick. <laughs> <I'll come back. laughs> Cheers. I'll do my job. Rocky! Ah! Fuck yeah, guys. We're starting um, a campaign, if you will. Oh, boy. Force 5 at Gorefest 2020. Hey, there we go. Hashtag. Hashtag. How long have we been friends with Scum? Uh, probably since you would know that. Yeah. Yeah, A long time. You would know that. Uh, A long time, and... I'm not talking shit, but I'm just saying uh, we never been invited. Uh, uh, no, I played one of the Gorf. Yeah. No, I didn't. No, no I didn't. Not in Denver. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. No, I played. I played in Denver with Saint and Busy Bone and shit like that for a scum. But uh, yeah. yeah, he he played with Zach's butthole. Is what <laughs> I'm say. Yeah, yeah, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sticking around down here while Johnny beats the lady. <laughs> I don't want to be. So, I don't, don't want to be, be witness to this domestic. It's getting real weird up there. <laughs> oh shit. Well, fuck. So, what kind of music you listen to, huh? What is that? Me? Is that a Santa jacket back there? Oh, uh, dude. Okay, you made me have to pull it out. Hold on here. Well, oh, no, no, don't pull it out. Hold oh, on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Pause. <laughs> Could have, you could have just described it. You didn't have to. Oh, he's got a face. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh, you're better looking now. You know what I'm saying? They call me, they call me Mr. Kitty Lovins and stuff, you know? Because I'm mumble rapping general hardcore guy. Start getting you know what I'm saying? What? What? <laughs> exactly. Fuck, no. It is a long story short with that. You know, it's an alter ego thing. Was that Weezy like, Mac? Huh? Was that Ouija back? No, it's no, it's Mr. Kitty level. I don't even know what's up with Ouija though. He's a little too weird for me. <clears throat> anyway, next yeah. question. Right. <laughs> well, I, I told we can't talk about Jason. <laughs> logic. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about logic right now. <laughs> right. Fuck that guy. He's got he's got to pay for the shout outs now. I have poops that weigh more than that guy. <laughs> oh god, they love this horrible character. They say, go oh, god, not this terrible character. Fuck you, Scribble. <laughs> says, oh no, not this asshole. That's it now. Fuck Finally, you guys. I agree with Scribble on something. <laughs> right? Now, get the fuck off my interview. Don't be agreeing with that guy. Fuck that guy. Mad Child's better anyways. <laughs> He's going to hate me on that one. I told him to look like Vanilla Ice earlier. He said he wanted, never mind. I'm not going into it. We're going back to buttholes again. And it's already got gay enough. Oh, man, the buttholes. Damn it. Here we go. Circling back to the buttholes. It's probably a bad analogy for that. Anyway. And I wonder why I can't get some artists on this show. 
So, DJ Gonzo, do you like country music? Yeah. What do you li- what do you listen to? I, I'm more into like the older, older stuff though. You know what I mean? I can do some of the nineties stuff. Like for me, me, music has to speak to you. It has to be something relatable to me. You know, and that's where most of my music influences are things I relatable with that I grew up with or things that hit me emotionally and shit, you know. So that's pretty much where I'm at with it. So like a lot of Dixie chicks? Yeah. Is that is that, is that what's hitting you right here? Yeah, yeah, they, it hit me right. Dixie yeah. Chicks. Yeah, fucking Dixie chicks, goddamn. <laughs> you know, fucking like I don't know, some of the new stuff's all right. Like I, I'm more into like country oh. rap or like jelly roll struggle and shit like that. This guy's got money. I gotta hit the gas. Who gave you money? You need anything? Uh, I need soda for my whiskey. Got any cash there, big dog? Going <laughs> <laughs> over. This guy's gonna make me flex my twenties real quick. Pay up, brother. Yeah, somehow that oh. sounded sexual. Get I don't know why. Way right now, I was cleaning upstairs. <laughs> oh, we have a Donnie. Was I, like, I hope Donnie doesn't hear it right now. We got a. I shouldn't even say. Uh, <laughs> we we didn't make a secret track behind his back at all. We would never do that. Said him. Dad's coming. Run! <laughs> 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 oh my! Hey, so Scribble says that I'm a fat. I like fat music, and so do. Turn that off. So this, so my this, dad just at me like a young kid playing Miley Crew, and old man's just like, turn that shit, off. turn that shit, <laughs> turn that so down, music down. Do you, uh, what do you? What do you secret? Want? Don't touch me. What do you want? That's <laughs> it. Yeah. All right. So. Anyway. Th- this track you did not do, I do not want you to uh, send it to me. <laughs> You'll never hear it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure he's going to hear this after this, and I'll deny everything. Right. Well, you know, I get in trouble all the time. Like when we did Haas's first interview, he messed up and said what band. Uh, he said MOD Classic pretty much. So I had to take this off. So you guys always get me in trouble. So just, just like blur this whole 10 minutes. I <laughs> know uh, no, just the <clears throat> random talking bullshit. <laughs> and then uh, something they didn't do. Something we didn't do. Yeah, it did Alleg- happen. Allegedly. 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 Well, if we, got, if we got anything else, because I know it's almost your bedtime. You're going to be going to bed. I, I'm already past that limit now. Yeah. All right. Much love, Scribble. He says he loves the show. Good one. Shout out to Rick and Prolific, and he's out. I think Shout we should be able to. Let's uh, end it out with your song. How do you feel about that? Hell yeah. Uh, check out this song, uh, Whiskey Drinking Off Cabin Fever, which is Prolific's album. Uh, it's, it's all right. I mean, <clears throat> This might be the highlight of the album, this song here. <laughs> Probably because it is featuring me for the right. most part. You know, I, I, I carry I carry him in the DRP the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, you, know, it's, you know, it's it's uh, I, I shine pretty hard, you know. Right. I, I kind of sh- shit on them. <laughs> You're a star, let you shine. You know, this is going to be like a more like, <clears throat> like we're just talking about a little country music, uh, it's backwoods type shit because that's where Prolific's from, right? The deep, the deep woods of Wisconsin. Which, if you ever come up here, go visit his fucking town because it's the water park capital of the world. There's fucking pools everywhere. Well, I'll check that shit out. Anyway, All right? Whiskey drinking. We shot a video for it two years ago. It's finally getting fucking done. The album's finally fucking getting done. Check the song out. Thanks for listening. Thank you, DJ Gonzo. Thank you, Scribble, for being a uh, kind of cool guy. I guess, you know. <laughs> um, never bring up uh, Logic's name ever again. Uh, 
<laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Thank you, DRP. Thank you, Prolific. Uh, tell your wife not to speak in the background ever again on your podcast. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, no lives matter. We're all just fucking meat puppets. Go kill yourself. Force five records. Fuck you. And he's out. I hear some music for you. This is whiskey drinking. I want to take that off. Turn this off. All right. We're gone. He is gone. That is Force 5 Records. Thank you for coming on. Much love. Uh, Force 5 Records. stop recording. I tell you, they talk mad shit all the time. Talk. Fucking, this is my shit. Fuck him.